everybody welcome back to the haven family farm my name is chris and today we're going to do a little bit different style uh, video it's going to be about snow plowing but i thought i'd do more of a vlog type video uh, rather than kind of putting the camera out and uh, showing a lot of different shots and different things like that i thought i'd take you guys along uh, to a couple of the places that uh, are snow plow customers of mine um, we have this big snowstorm here uh, beginning of February and some of the some of my customers wanted to be plowed multiple times during the storm and I had two that said just wait till the end um, most of the snow is done there might be like a you know a little dusting here dusting there type of thing still but the majority of the snow is done and uh, I want to go ahead and go get them opened up so that's what we're gonna do today uh, I'm gonna have you guys ride along with me you get to uh, plow some snow in the truck with me, see some sights along the way, um, you know, I some stories, whatever. It's going to be more of a vlog, me talking, showing scenery, things like that. Uh, so a little, little different style video today. Um, I plowed the driveway, my driveway I did, um, <laughs> and I did it yesterday at about 10, 12 inches of snow, and there's easily somewhere around 12, 14 inches out there again now. So we got to plow our way out of here. We're going to get the truck ready here. We're going to check the oil in it. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is everything's crappy, slippery. And those two customers that we're going to do are, we're going to be looking at pushing upwards of 24 to 30 inches of snow because the wind has been blowing gusts 30 miles an hour. So there's drifts and, um, you know, so there's no weight on the back of this truck. I'm not messing around. Uh, while I'm sitting here in the warm shop, we are throwing the tire chains on before we even leave. So let's check the oil and get the chains on. Let's see what we got here. She's full. Okay, so we got our tire chain. These are actually brand new. <laughs> They just sit in the toolbox. The toolbox gets uh, just a little bit of moisture in it. And, uh, you know, they get a light layer of rust on them. So, uh, the way I put them on, I flop them up over the top. These are actually not the right chains for this truck. They might end up being a hair bit big. They were for a different truck, but they should work. So, um, this is how I like to put them on. I get them adjusted pretty good. These have the ice cleats on them. Here, I'll bring you over and I'll show you a little bit closer quick. Here's our tensioner we're going to put on. Um, I always put this adjustable guy on the outside. Uh, and then here's our ice cleats facing up. And then what we do, we just tuck the extra chain underneath the tire like that and we pull forward enough to bring that slack around to here and then we hook it all right i got the inner hook hooked now we'll do this outer one here like i said these are gonna be looks like just a little bit too big for the tire come on all right, there's the tensioner on. You can see it pulled up the slack pretty good. It's pretty tight on there now. All right, now I gotta stop and close the garage door and then we'll go. This is what we're faced with here. This is how deep the snow is. You can't even see the bottom of the truck. All right, I gotta close the door. But we gotta try and get out of my driveway now. Without, well, we'll see if we throw a chain or not. Let's see if I can hold you up here just a minute. This was plowed already. Holy crap. Hopefully nobody's coming because I ain't, I'm not stopping. All right, I gotta clean that mess. All right, so some of you may recognize this hill. Uh, we take hay equipment up and down this hill in the summertime. This is uh, one of the same same mountains we climb. 
the state usually does a pretty good job of uh, keeping this salted down when the this is a state road obviously uh, because it's such a steep hill and there's an ambulance uh, building at the top so they need to be able to access things but uh, the roads are not why we put the tire chains on the tire chains are specifically for the jobs that we have to do so um, hopefully we won't be tearing our chains up too much I'm trying to stay in the snow here but uh, we only got about a mile to go to our first one all right so of course I got a car behind me here but here is our uh, first plow job the state usually plows a tiny bit of it uh, because they kind of turn around here but as you can see they have left us with a basically four foot pile of freaking snow here which you can't see but uh, there you go uh, now that there's not somebody behind me that is uh, almost level with the side of the truck so I'm gonna get this started and uh, then I'll come back to you and show you some plowing the one chain was making a little noise so I got to check that too well I tell you what this baby pushes like a beast with these chains on underneath is just all packed snow because there's a parking lot here there's a truck coming because there's a parking lot here people turn around and uh, do all kinds of things um, and pack the snow all down part of this uh, well most of it actually is paved but uh, sorry you guys just went for a ride all right here we go we're getting it these chains are making all the difference I'm sorry uh, the footage isn't so good here <clears throat> when I had the uh, great idea for this video to take you guys along for the ride I uh, just thought I'd kind of set you on the dash but the part of the dash I was gonna put you on kind of sits lower than the hood so I really don't have any place to put you so uh, that kind of stinks so I'm sorry um, don't have too many passes left but uh, I will show you when I'm done here my battery's getting low already surprise surprise it's a GoPro so as we rumble along here <laughs> I'm just taking my time the chain was okay by the way I'm not sure what was making the noise but I don't know you can't tell how big those snow drifts are but uh, they're halfway up the truck but behind that big snow drift is actually one of our hay fields there that we do so uh, that's part of your scenic tour today and uh, I'll keep you with me just another minute here but uh, I have to say I've so far I've been real happy with this truck uh, as far as plowing snow um, the only thing that I don't like about it and I think it's kind of with a lot of the newer trucks sorry if there's a little noise I got the windows cracked down just a bit so I can hear the chains in case one comes loose I can hear it start banging around before it does any damage uh, especially on the driver's side there's a toolbox there but anyway um, a lot of these new trucks now and I probably a lot of the cars vehicles whatever you know you used to be able to take your drive selector down here and uh, go you know pick drive first second gear whatever and now it's you know they have the little button here so it's kind of annoying when I'm pushing heavy snow like that I like to be in first gear when I'm doing lighter snow I just drop it back into drive from reverse and it's fine but when I'm pushing heavy snow you have to sit and hold on the minus sign for a minute to uh, get it to go into first gear so you know it takes a couple extra seconds it doesn't sound like much but when you're making a whole bunch of passes it's kind of a pain um, and here on our left side uh, you're not gonna be able to see very many but through that gate uh, is uh, let's see we got one two three four there's five hay fields on this property 
here that we do. So uh, that goes way, way up in the back. A lot of those are, uh, a lot of those fields are in videos that, uh, you know, my hay and videos and whatnot. But again, just thought I'd take you along here for a little bit of a ride. Like I said, it's kind of a vlog type deal. So uh, I'll catch back up with you guys. We got about uh, five miles to the next destination. So I'll catch up with you when we get a little closer. All right. We're coming down the hill to the stop sign here and getting real close to our, uh, oh, I better turn that off before I get in trouble. You can see they put a little extra salt and cinders as you get towards the uh, intersections <laughs> on the downhill. It's been snowy the whole way, uh, whole way over, so, but uh, almost there. And here we are on the left, that huge drift. So I thought I would take a back way home since I still got these chains on and anything over 25 miles an hour, they're slapping around. I think the extra slack, uh, there's metal brackets that hold the mud flaps and I think the extra slack in the chain because they're a little bit too big is hitting. So I can't go much faster than 25. So there's this dirt road I was taking, nicely plowed. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see here now, we're getting ready to change townships. And uh, there's like, well, hang on, I gotta put it in four wheel drive here. I don't know, eight or 10 inches of snow on the road. Like, no, it's, it's telling me to slow down. So there it goes, now it shifted. So like, where where is the township? And the embarrassing thing is, the township I just entered is uh, the township I live in. Not that I have anything to do with taking care of the roads, mind you, but, uh, uh, sorry, we're on my phone here because the GoPro died and uh, I didn't get any more footage. I got a couple pictures for uh, for you guys from that last plowing job just to kind of show you. Um, I didn't get a lot of video footage in the beginning because the customer was out shoveling, talking to me with the window down while I was plowing and then the battery died on the GoPro and it's really hard to hold my phone. Well, we're coming onto this little bridge here. Nothing special, but I just thought I'd show you. Again, kind of just some scenery around the area. whoop de doo a little one lane, five ton bridge. Oh, it's all like iced over. You can't even see the, uh, the creek that's down there. <laughs> Something tour guide I am. All right, I'll bring you back when we start climbing the, the hill out of this mess. Once again, you can't really see the grade difference. Hey, look at that, there's a bunch of cows. Or, no, horses and cows, horses and cows. Around the bend we go. It's a shame that the camera doesn't show grade. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. There's some mountains off in the distance. Uh, that is the mountain range that is behind my house. Not that particular peak there, but uh, I think it's the next one down. Oops, not that you could see it anyway, because I was pointing you at the uh, pillar. <laughs> I'm not used to holding the phone and watching the snowy trail and filming and talking all at the same time here. So, um, well, right up there, I don't know if you can see, there's a barn, oh, car coming on the main road about a mile from home here so we'll get home and give you a final update here if I don't drive off the road first <laughs> you can see some more mountains in the distance those are actually the peaks that are behind my house so I'll see you when we get there well we made it back in the shop here I cleaned some of the snow off the truck the best I could a lot of it's sticking, but uh, it'll melt off in here for a little while. Then I'll uh, <laughs> drop it, stuff's dropping already. And then I will uh, back it out quick and I'll squeegee the floor out and uh, you know, get a bunch of that crap outside, all the snow and junk and whatnot. Skid steers outside warming up. Uh, because I gotta put the plow on and go do a bunch of neighbors. Their driveways are small. 
and one of them has very low hanging branches so it's hard to do with the truck um, because the truck's so long and tall so I just do all the neighbors with the skids there in the snow plow so we're gonna let this baby thaw out for a while in here and then I'll clean that up I'm gonna end the video here I know it was kind of a mishmash just tried to do something a little different let me know if you enjoy the vlog style a uh, little action little me talking kind of both at the same time let me know if you enjoy that style video um, I know this one wasn't great but uh, I can do better maybe on the next <laughs> next time around um, I will try to do a little bit better if you guys like this kind of video. So uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell icon. Leave your questions, comments down below.